Hello, welcome to Napco Video Tech Tips. This is Tom. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to reload your quick loader software if you don't know the password and you can't log into it. And if you don't care about the accounts, because I want to stress that if we do this this way, okay, you will lose any accounts that you have on the current quick loader software and you can't just go into our website and re-download the software without deleting the other folders first because the other folders will not be deleted if you just re-download it and your password will not be reset so what you want to do is you want to go into control panel a couple different ways I'm on Windows 10 that you can get there I created a short to, uh, shortcut on my taskbar or you can go to your search bar and type in control panel double click on control panel you want to go into programs uninstall programs you want to look for the Napco quick loader click on that click on uninstall and then click yes And again, I stress you will lose any accounts that you have on your current software that's on the computer right now. You want to completely remove it. You want to make sure that you get this little window up here. And then click on finish. And you want to make sure that it's not in this list anymore. At that point, you can close this. You're going to go down, and again, in your search, you can. You need to go to File Explorer, so you can right-click on your Start menu, go to File Explorer that way, or if you go into your search bar and you type in File Explorer, that will get you there as well. Go into File Explorer. You want to go to whatever hard drive you have on your system. You want to go into Program x86. You want to go to Napco Security Group. If you have other applications loaded on there, you just leave those alone. You want to right-click. Actually, we, you, know, you can right-click on here. You can delete. And then close that folder down. Now what you can do is go to either Napco Security Group or tech.napcosecurity. You have to log in. So if you don't have a login, you're going to have to register first. If it's during business hours, usually within an hour or so it will be. If it's in the nighttime, it's going to be the next day. And then you log in. You're going to go to Software and Downloads. Click on Napco. And you want to look through the list of downloads. You want to look for the latest. So right now as of April 2019 we're at 6.42 uh, any new software is going to have the latest on it double click on that you want to download and then you 
you should see this little bar down at the bottom pop up where it's going to show you the download progress. Once you see the QWREL, you just click on that, click on open. You're going to double click on that 642 folder. You're going to go to the QLWREL application file. Double click on that. You want to run it right from the website. You can download it to your computer, just beware you're going to have to have an extracting program to extract it. Go into, you'll get this, Windows protected your PC, you just click on more info, run anyway. And then you're going to click yes. Next, you can accept. You can read all this if you'd like. I suggest just leaving it in the directories that we create for you. You're going to put your name in. And then enter, and then enter or next, and then just keep on hitting enter or next. It's going to take a few minutes for it to download. and finish. Now another thing while you're in the website, go back to NAPCO and what you want to do is you want to download the USB driver. So you have USB drivers for the NAPCO USB RS-232. That's for your USB adapter.
then you say yes. Go and install using compatibility settings. everything, make sure everything's going through. So that looks like it installed. Now you have the new quick loader for Windows icon. Just double click on that. Login is master. And then whatever you want as a password, just make sure that you write this down, store it somewhere. It's going to ask you to retype the password. And there you are. So the only other thing you have to do is go up to File, make sure your USB is plugged in, and you just have to pick your PCI mini port. So that's for your USB, so you can connect to the panel. And that's it. Thank you for visiting NAPCO Video Tech Tips.